hey guys welcome to tech surgeon yt once again so today in this video we are going to be talking about some problems of the new sora ai and we are just not going to be hypothetically speaking on this topic but we are going to be checking out some videos actually created by sora ai and the issues that these videos have and i just want to tell you guys that i'm freestyling this video there was no script written before this video so i'm just going to be reacting to these issues in real time and if you guys want to check out how to use the new sora ai right now i already made a video on that so you guys should check this out now we're going to be going to here on wonder chef Filmora, and then we're going to be playing six different videos created by sora ai that had different problems so now here's the first video of um five dogs moving across a path so now you can see them moving across the path the video looks you know pretty normal nothing really um interesting to see right here they are just frolicking and playing around but then the issue is in this frame right here i'm just going to play that in slow motion so you can see the dog right there you can see the one that runs it runs into the other dog at the right part of the screen and you can see it kind of disappears into the body of uh the other puppy and then it kind of appears at the back of the frame so basically this is trying to tell you that while sora can create good videos it, it creates obviously good videos it generates good videos but then when there's a lot of elements in the background because i mean you can see that the grass has to move with uh the wind speed and then there has to be a little bit of dust because they are moving along this rocky dead path and then you are playing and frolicking around it cannot keep track of every single element so it's very very bound to make mistakes so you can see it again you can see the one right there just running from the back it kind of materializes from the back and then jumps into this and then just disappears so um that's just telling you that when there's a lot of elements in the video it's prone to making mistakes so now let's check out the next video now this is the next video right here of a corgi that's a corgi dog doing a vlog on its own and just with this scenery you know that this is a completely ai generated video but the issue in this video is right here you can see the seagull right there i pause it you can see the seagull coming into the frame with um even shadows it's even generated shadows for the seagull but the problem right here is why the seagull is flying it flew into the recording device that the corgi is using and then it kind of just disappears can you see right there it just disappears into the gimbal and then you can see down on the blanket spread on the floor the shadow of the seagull is still showing even after the seagull has disappeared you can see the shadows still moving across the blanket and then the seagull does not appear out of anywhere anymore like it's just gone out of the frame you cannot see it flying out into the background and then there's another problem with this video with another seagull walking into the frame you can see that right there just walking into the frame now first you can see the legs of the seagull that's not actually how it's supposed to look like so it kind of just generated something as fit and then as it's moving across the video you can see it's also just disappears into the frame and does not appear out the other part so let's get on to our third video and the third video is of this scenario right here you can see this is a normal construction scenario so i'm just going to play the video and maybe you guys can spot out the issue in this video before i spot it out So now that was a pretty normal scene of a construction site and you can see a forklift just moving across the scene there are workers moving across the scene and like i told you before the issue with sora ai is when it has a lot of elements to think about you can see these caterpillars moving around you can see people moving around you can see the scenery in the background you can see buildings you can see workers doing construction you can see wood on the floor and metal and all that and that's where the issue comes in place now the issue is in the forklift now in front of the forklift right there you can see that there are bars spread around there are metal bars spread around and then you can see the forklift conveniently moves across 
the metal bars on the floor like it kind of just drives around now you could have said oh the metal bars are just spread thinly across the ground and that's why it can move over it number one the motion is wrong because you cannot see the forklift even jack even just a little bit it kind of just moves smoothly across it but the issue is around here where you can obviously see that these are metal bundles can you see that those are metal bundles kind of blocking the road where even the human beings around cannot step over it and this guy right here has to go across it but the forklift just kind of moved along it like it was a road it did not recognize the fact that that was a mass of objects and it would have to go around for it to cross over to the other side now the fourth video we have right here is a video of a person running and you can see the obvious issue right here the obvious issue right here is the sora ai has made a motion that does not work in real life so basically uh, the prompt was to generate a human being running on a treadmill. And you can see right here, it generated the human being running backwards on the treadmill while the mill even isn't, like the mill isn't even running. So you can see right here, let me just play the full clip. So you can see the human being on the frame running the opposite direction on the treadmill. And this is not, you know, a normal human motion. So sometimes, it can give you the correct adaptation of your prompt but if you are not extremely very specific it can just throw in motions that cannot happen like this now let's get on to the next video now the next video right here is a basketball and the prompt right here was for the basketball to go into the hoop and then explode so now i'm just going to play the clip so you can see that right there there was a ton of problems in this clip starting from the beginning of the frame now the camera is coming at a very correct angle but the, the bouncing motion was not actually accurate you can see it kind of does not touch the hoop but then bounces out and then once it bounces out as it's coming back uh the basketball it's in the hoop should mean the basketball is going away from the frame but then it hits the hoop and then by some i don't know trickery it's coming back again to the hoop and then it comes into the hoop it's the net on the hoop and then you can see that exploding motion i mean 3d artists can do way better than that so when you're talking about um ai like this taking over the jobs of cinematic photographers and videographers you can see that it still has a very long way to go before it's going to be able to do that so you can see that explosion is completely unreal it seems like something you've seen like a 1982 movie and then after it explodes it comes out of frame and then magically another basketball appears again at the other end of the hoop and then you can see that one right there just coming in and passing through the solid part of the hoop and then out of the frame so now let's take a look at our last video and our sixth video and this has been trending on twitter it's a prompt about our grandma during her birthday blowing out some birthday candles and then a lot of people are talking about how creepy the video is because these are not normal human emotions to a birthday so you can just watch this right here you can see the grandma has this very creepy um smile on her face and then it's just this very awkward situation and she blows the candles and the candles don't go out so she just continues with the very creepy smile and everybody in the background is just laughing very very creepily so while sora ai is a very very good model for transforming prompts into video content we can obviously see that there are a lot of issues with the model when there are a lot of things going on in the frame when there are a lot of things going on in the frame then there can be obvious mistakes so while it might generate a re level of realism it has some very small issues and i feel like over time with constant updates these issues are going to be fixed so guys that's all for the video i hope the video was very insightful for you guys if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel kindly hit that subscribe button right now and make sure to tap on the bell icon so that you get notifications to know whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel now i'm going to be uploading another video showing the best videos that have been created by sora ai so make sure you subscribe for you to know when that video is out thank you guys for watching and i'm going to catch you guys in the next video